Greetings from another forums that you can hear, and welcome back to the circle of black and white. In the last part, we got done with Route 9 and got to open the city and heard a speech by Gets It, Gets It, and did retarded stuff. In this part, which is being recorded straight after that part, we are in our blizzard city and going to Drayden's house to figure out what the hell's going on. Just a little farther, said Iris. This is it, and this is Drayden's house with the epic door opening, bubbleness, awesomeness, whatever. And this is Drayden's house. I'll explain. What you're holding is the Lightstone. Reshiram, who will likely awaken from the Lightstone, and Zekrom, who was already awake, were once the same Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes, brought a new reign into being. And people in Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who caught, sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon that had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother, and the other sided with the younger brother. In its pursuit of ideals, the black dragon type Pokemon sought to usher in a new and better world. His name was Zekrom, and the other, the white dragon type Pokemon, sought truth. And to usher in the new world, a world of good, its name was Reshiram. Because of the two of them were once the same de entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side that was right and ceased the conflict. But, but, the two heroes' sons str started the battle again, and an instant later, Zekrom and Reshiram destroyed the Unova with lightning and fire. Then they disappeared. But, but, if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone and made a new region. So it should be alright, I think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah! So I'm never gonna get forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to Alder. You, you must win the gym badge from the Opal City Gym. Chase, I'll be waiting for the, your challenge at the Pokemon Gym. The Pokemon. Something I might want to note is, in black version, Drayden is the gym leader. In white version, Iris is. They have the same Pokemon, same levels. The only, di the only difference is the genders of the Pokemon. I think, like, Iris' Pokemon, I think more of them are female than male or something. But right now, we are actually going to Obosa Gym. This might be the longest gym we actually have. And this is a pretty cool gym, if you ask me. And here we are. Don't forget your fresh water. There we go. Now this, uh, don't worry about the gym puzzle. I'll explain it all. Essentially, you have to fight trainers, of course. And there are dragon statues around the gym. You press buttons on them to reposition their necks, arms, and legs, and tails, and everything. And you just essentially follow the puzzle path until you get to the gym leader. Fracture. Evolution of Axew. Pretty cool. It's all bloody or something. I don't know. Um, let's use Thunder, although it's not very effective. I don't freaking know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Dragon Dance. Uh, that's not too bad. Well, Thunder did a decent amount of damage. Um, I guess our best bet would be to keep going with Thunder, because I want Secretary to level up. And then probably Whiskers is going to be next up, because the Blizzard he has. That will help us out a lot. And Secretary's almost there. Not quite. But either way, let's just continue into the gym. On the paths here. And here's the tail of a dragon. All you gotta do is hold up to go through it. So yeah, we can't go this way. So we're gonna go this way. And if you see that little button on the arm of the dragon, we gotta get to that. Because we, if we go this way, we can't do anything. So we're gonna go down there. Fight this trainer and press that button on his arm. I'll tell the trainer who beats me how to move forward into this gym. Well, I already explained it, so if we didn't have to fight you, we could continue. Hello, Ace Trainer Alwyn? Okay. She's a dino, which is a really cool Pokemon. Dark Dragon type. Um, you, we can't catch him yet. We catch him on Victory Road, which is actually coming up pretty soon. But 
essentially, these things are really cool. I've never used one all the way through. I really want to, though. But the reason I haven't used one all the way through is because you can get you get them really late. Unless I were to trade an egg over or something, but either way, they're really cool. Dark dragon type, and they evolve into something really badass in the end. So, if you want to use one, by all means, go ahead. It's a really good type. Dragon and dark, and nothing can really freaking do that. Well, yeah, it can, but you know, I like to be an optimist. See, th these people, like, in the beginning, they have very few Pokemon, but they're pretty strong. But it's nothing to worry about. She just said jump on its arm here. Um, arm hair. And its arm goes up, and its head goes that way. So you can see Drayden all the way up there, the little teleporter pad. So now we can't, um, we can go up the head. Although, oh yeah, okay. Go up the head, fight this guy, and jump on the other arm, and it'll move its head again. It's, it's the puzzle. You're just gonna... Keep on repositioning it until it works out. It's it could be annoying to figure out, but it's not that bad. See now he has two Pokemon, so there's not that much. Fracture, pathetic, whatever. I mean pathetic, I mean yeah, it's a yeah, Hatcherus is the final one. I call it Haxors because it's, you know. But it's a really cool Pokemon. It's it's just dragon type. And it can learn a lot of HMs if you want to use it as an HM slave. I don't know why you would though. But it's really cool. Um, by all means, use that one, too. Which you can catch, I think, also on Victory Road. So, if you're in the mood for intense training right before the Elite Four, by all means, use one of them. By that, I mean Axew and, uh, Die. Axew and, uh, Dino. There's a few more Pokemon on Victory Road, of course, but I'll explain those when we get to them. Let's go to Whiskers for Blizzard, I guess. This would be fun. Blizzard. Taunt, Okay. Like we needed you to do that, I guess. And Blizzard. Defeated. Defeated. The Pokemon here are a little higher level than we are used to. They're 40 and stuff, so we're gonna have to watch out for them. I should I could have done some off screen training, I didn't really. If I have problems with it, I will actually um, cut it at, when we get up to Drayden. I will save before him and you know, my my good attempt I will show. But there goes the Fracture, and almost level 42, but, yeah, okay. Continuing. Down onto this arm, which raises it. So now he's like, rawr, I'm gonna eat you. And his head goes all the way up. Look at this, a stretchy neck. Boy, you got a stretchy neck. And over this way. To another Ace Trainer. Apparently these ace trainers are good at training dragon types or something. I don't freaking know. But Whiskers is not out front anymore because I forgot to switch it out. Actually, I just switched into it in the battle. One Pokemon again, another Fracture. Probably higher than level 40, isn't it? Yeah, 41. Not too bad. Duck Quant probably won't be able to take it out, but I'll try it anyway. Mold Breaker. Yeah. <laughs> I never really went in to look what Mold Breaker actually does. I just know I don't really care for it. And Kranidos has it, but... I don't know. Nah. Dragon Dance. Just keep doing it. It keeps working, isn't it? Well, it does increase its attack and speed, which is really good, I guess. We just gotta watch out for this thing. Okay, just don't die here. Wow. I'm assuming it's gonna let us do it. Yeah, well. Okay. No, no, what am I talking about? I keep on getting Taunt and Torment confused, even though I shouldn't. Taunt makes you use attacks, Torment makes you use different attacks every turn. Yeah, shut up. Okay. Go down here. Jump on this arm of this dragon. And he goes down. Doesn't quite make it to Drayden because it's an idiot and just goes against the floor. So we're going to have to jump on that arm over there after fighting this guy. Who is a veteran trainer. If you look at his sprite when we battle him, he kind of looks like he's wearing Lucas's clothes from the Diamond and Pearl games. With, you know, a jacket, I guess you could, you know. Drudgegon. Or, or I, got, I forgot how they how I pronounced it in the anime. Um, Drud... Drudgigan? I don't freaking know. All I know is that I'm hopefully gonna beat it. 
You can find these guys outside of Dragon Spiral Tower, and I think inside too. We just never ran into one. Um, so yeah, these guys are, you know, they don't evolve. Just so you know, it's it looks kind of, it looks like it's being gagged by, it looks like it's gonna it's being choked out by like a red plastic bag or something. It really bit through it with its teeth. I'm gonna die. We are die. Okay. Um. I guess Whiskers could handle it. Again, of course, because the, you know, blizzard. The blizzard. That, yeah, we, okay, we're good. We're golden. We're golden girls. No, we're not. And goodbye, Dredgagon. See, we, our team is pretty much ready for this. We may be a little underleveled, but that doesn't matter because we're powerful enough to take them all out. And there goes veteran Hugo. We're gonna just tank on through this gym and then heal before trade in, I guess. Go on up here, I think. If we can't do anything there, that's later. Hit this button. Raise that arm. That'll bring it over there. And now, because it went up and to the right, we're gonna have to hit the button on the right side again to bring it back up or something like that. I don't remember. I think there's another statue you gotta do. Yeah, so you fight this guy, you go down there. There's just a lot of stuff to do. That's all it is. It's just... Tra it's just a puzzle with trainers in the way. It's not that big a deal, though. You know, the hardest gym in this game was the first one. Like, what does grass do against water? Is it good? Who knows? Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Note my sarcasm. If you didn't, then there's something clearly wrong with you. Because of the dark type, we can use Focus Blast and completely miss. Brilliant. <laughs> but, either way, I guess Focus Blast could work if we could freaking hit it. Of course we can't. Because that's just against our ethics, actually hitting something. Thank you, Rocky Helmet, for helping us a little bit. Come on. Yes, thank you, Focus Blast. We're finally showing this off. Boom! Although, I don't know if Rodim's special attack is very high. Although, you know, I might as well keep, keep Raw Focus Blast. It's, been, it's a very recommended move for it. Fracture. Let us switch. Let us leaf. Into Whiskers yet again. The thing is, we're completely prepared for this. The only main problem is whether or not we can handle the gym leader. And I hope I can actually pan and crop this, because apparently on my camera's display screen, the video is all the way to the left of the screen, but it's not cut off, which is good. Come on, just hit it already. Dragon Claw, no. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't think it will. Yeah, it won't. And, okay, we're screwed. Out of that. Um, I guess I can just use Waterfall. After it murders me with Dragon Claw. So I guess we can just tank on through here. Hopefully. Um, Croco. Excuse. I choose you! Just because, um, Intimidate, lower that attack back down, um, Foul Play, that'd be good. You want it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, ooh, very nice. Good job, Croco. Alright! Drudgegon, er, uh, dr I don't know how to pronounce it according to the anime. Drudigan, Drudigan, that's how you pronounce it, Drudigan. Okay, there we go. Foul play again, this thing might have some pretty high attack stat. Yeah, it does. The rough skin does a little bit of damage, doesn't really matter. Triple away, please don't kill me. They won't, of course, because it's not a fighting type move. I'm an idiot. Normal type move again is what it's doing. Rough skin again, doesn't matter. No, because it's defighted. It's defighted. It can't fight anymore because it's been defighted. Con continuing down here. There might be a trainer here, I'm not sure. There's a button, of course. And that raises the head up to there, but not quite. Just under. So we're gonna go back this way. And we're gonna actually press the button again. Because that'll rearrange it, and we'll still be on the dragon. The thing is that... Look. Like, we got on the dragon, but it moved the head. So if we do it again... It'll move it back, and we'll still be on the dragon, which is good. So, we can go up here now, and then we'll be able to press that button after this battle. See, it's pretty cool. You just gotta know what to do. 
I wonder what you do as a trainer. Well, I'm already in the 8th gym. gym. What do you think I'm doing? Fighting the Pokemon League. And by Pokemon League, I mean the Elite Four and the Champion, because of course... What the hell? Why would there be an actual Pokemon League like in the TV show? Oh yeah, because we can actually win it, unlike Ash does every single freaking season. Where he loses it every single time. Thank- Yeah. Thank you that Focus Blast worked that time. That's a god sent from heaven down to earth. I don't know. But that was easy. A dread again. I can pronounce it now. Yip 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 yip. The last Pokemon. Um, it's a pretty heavy Pokemon, so let's try out Grass Knot. Not for if it- oh yeah, what the hell am I thinking? I thought Grass Knot was a special move. Why did Rough Skin hurt me? Oh, the the Rocky Helmet helped, I guess. Um, we only have Makar and Croco left, so let's go to Makar for now. Let's go to my car for now. We could rush there. I don't know. Um, I guess X Scissor wouldn't hurt. Although, yeah, it definitely won't. Well, oh yeah, it worked out, I guess. Rough skin a little bit. Revenge, goddammit, don't kill me, no! Mm, okay, good. Now, um... I guess Slash could help. Uh, come on, come on. Don't, don't die. Don't die, don't die. Don't die. Oh, thank you. And Makar, finish it off. Cream Freesh. Oh, that was close. Okay, good. My car gets all that experience. And Dara is Dared. I'm just gonna see what this one leads us to. There might be another trainer. I'm pretty sure there is. I think it's a veteran woman is left to fight. Not quite sure yet. But if you go up here. Um, I'm gonna go up here. Uh, yes, that's the veteran woman. Um, I'm, I'm gonna actually, hmm. Let me just, you know what, I'm actually gonna leave the gym real quick and heal, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I actually had to go and redo the puzzle again. I left and healed and redid the puzzle, and we're back to where we were. Right past this veteran and to this female veteran trainer here. And we're almost done with the gym. Hey, we have 10 years, whatever, okay. So, we are almost done with the 8th gym of this playthrough. We're very close to the end of the main game. And then once we're done with that, we have the after game, which is actually not that long. There's some Pokemon events that I missed, actually, because I didn't idiot and deleted my heart code file that had all the transfer ones, but I might still have them on my Platinum. If I do, I will transfer them and show that off. This is a random time to be talking about that, but essentially there are some extras like DLC, I mean DLC, like the shiny stuff, uh, whatever. Two Pokemon, okay, forget it, if I have it, I'll do it, whatever. So, just battling a stupid fracture. Show me your moves! <laughs> Taunt. <laughs> be, um, if there's like a Falcon Pokemon, I'm pretty sure there is. Well, anything that resembles a falcon, I guess. If you were to have a falcon Pokemon named it Cap named it Captain Falcon, and then you had to have Taunt, it's like, show me your moves, damn it. Show me your moves. Okay, um, now I can stop spamming that in my face. Go, Daquan, murder this little dinosaur. Even though it's a dragon. Okay, please don't kill, please don't kill. Oh, dear God. Okay, something fast, please. Um. Uh. Croco's pretty fast. So now, two things are dead already. Great. Ugh, I healed just for this battle so I can continue. There's just one more Pokemon. Damn. Strength? No, please don't kill. Please don't, please don't kill me. Well, Intimidate lowered its attack. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Die. Stealing catchphrases, and by catchphrases I mean quotes, but whatever. 42 Croco! A fracture again! Wonderful! Veteran Kim. Um. 
I guess a foul play wouldn't hurt. This is one of those. Whoa! Critical, epic, awesome, Croco. What's Croco's on steroids, guys? I can, I can almost it. Not. I can't believe that. I'm actually gonna heal using items because I don't want to leave this gym again. You don't know how much of a hassle it is. Max revive. Not using those. Do I have no more revives? I do not. Um. So I'm just gonna heal whoever's alive, I guess. So that means Croco. Okay, we're good. I guess. Doesn't really matter. Continue. What's over here? Uh, I don't want to fight her if I don't have to. Um, yeah, this. I believe. I was correct, yes! And there's Drayden. Let's go fight him. Huzzah! First, let's save our game. So, now, my camera's dying. I will save. And, I guess, switch. Whiskers out front, I will be right back. I'm just gonna plug my camera in. It'll only take a second. One minute. Okay, I'm back, and camera's plugged in. So let us fight Drayden. Welcome, thank you for coming. I'm Opalucid Pokemon Gym's leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I was given everything to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. What I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future, the way Iris has. This is the 8th Gym Leader, Drayden. Or Iris, if you're playing Pokemon White, the only difference is the genders. Let's get started. Yes, three Pokemon. Um, this is pretty dangerous, so watch out if you're lower leveled like I am a little bit. So I'm gonna lean out with Whiskers here, with a Blizzard. Thank you for hitting. Wonderful. That's a great start for this. Uh, ooh, great. It's a good thing we didn't just get him down to right HP and then he'd heal it. Drudigan. Uh, let's keep Whiskers out. He's on a roll. So it wouldn't be a shame to keep Whiskers out. And Blizzard worked it. Blizzard. Blizzard worked again. Oh my god. If I do a clean. Oh, okay. Not cool. Oh, yes. Frozen. Oh, it, it thawed out. Okay. I was gonna say. Oh, okay. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Mm. Oh! Survived that. Like a boss. Um. I thought I figured you'd do something. Hyper Potion, yeah. So I'll use Waterfall. I'll, I will heal the next turn, I guess. Not too much damage there. Rough Skin. Okay. Let's heal. So we don't fucking die. I'll use a Max Potion. I don't need any full restores. For this, you know. And there we go. Revenge. I didn't hit you this turn. I didn't hit you this turn. You can't have revenge. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. Hopefully we can continue our sweeping of blizzards and we missed and dragon tail. This is essentially a dra it's essentially a U-turn against the opponent, which is a straight out into Croco apparently this time, and we intimidate it, which is great. Um, I guess a foul play wouldn't hurt. Considering this thing's in uh rough skin. Uh that wasn't too helpful. Night slash is a dark type move. What do you think you're doing? Nothing really. Um, I guess a bulldoze wouldn't hurt, although we are faster than it, it wouldn't really matter. But we still- oh, nice. Okay, don't kill me, and please- please don't heal. If you heal, then we're all doomed, and by all, I mean me. Oh, crap. Okay, that was close. Don't heal. Damn you! Damn you. Okay, speed fell again. Now, this turn, I guess I'll just go out on a foul play. And rough skin almost... Okay, I'm dead. Croco, thanks for your help. But you died. Um, this might be a little risky, considering we are down to Pokemon from the start. I'm going to send Reddit out, because I need Whiskers for the end. I'm going to need it. Um, I guess Fire Blast? Nice. Okay, good. I think he used up all of his hyper potions that he has, so that'll help. 
and his final Pokemon, Haxorus, or Haxors. So, here we go, final Pokemon. It's the final sidebar, didn't it? Whatever. Um, it's a dragon type. It's heavy. Let's go for a grass nut, even though it's not super effective. Let's see what the hell happens. Because I'm experimenting. Just be careful when you fight these things, because they are very dangerous if you let them get away with things. Well, of course they are, but... Fire Blast, although it's not very effective, let's keep on trucking, I guess. Foul Play would really help here, considering the immense attack it's getting now, and it already has in the beginning. Uh, okay, this is not going very well. I guess a Focus Blast could help. Ooh! We're still faster than this thing, which is what's amazing to me. After two dragon dances and a dragon tail, so he's switching us out. Uh, not. Oh, quite a quite a lot of damage and the rocky helmet. Yes. And we get to choose who we're sending out. I'm gonna send out Makar. Go Makar, kill this thing. Um, let's kill it with a slash. What about you, slash? Don't kill me. Don't you dare kill me. Oh yeah, guys, we have all eight badges. Next up is the Elite Four. Hell yes! And Makar's level 42. There goes Leader Drayden. And here comes our eighth badge and our final badge. I'm glad we had a chance to battle. Here it is, guys! It's the final badge and the final sidebar, unless I change it for the Elite Four and onward. Here's our full badge case. Boom, shakalaka! We got... The Legend Badge from Drayden. Now we have all the badges in Unova. Now every Pokemon in the world will all obey our commands, and he gives us the TM for Dragon Tail. Not the TV show. The old one, old TV show. And it's, yes, it's, it damages and returns it to its Pokeball. Head for the Pokemon League. Pass Route 10, Opus City of Victory Road, and defeat N. If Alder can't handle it. So let's GTFO. It's Juniper! Hello! Hello, was Drayden as tough as ever? Oh, I came to report how the, how to resurrect the legendary Pokemon Reshiram. I thought it would have been better to tell you in person than over the, the cross transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I'm sure the Pokemon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. More importantly, here aren't you amazing? You've all eight Unova gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left New Town. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong nader, strong nader, strong trainer should head next. She's gonna take us over to the exit to Route 10. I'm so excited, guys! We have all the badges. We're so close to the end of this game. Pass through that gate and down, go down Route 10. You'll arrive at the badge check gates. Once you get through Victory Road, which is past the gates, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Oh, that just made me think of some think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Accumula Town. That was a while ago. Do you regret sending out on your Pokemon journey? Hell no. Thanks, that's the greatest answer you could give. I was really happy to be able to give you you three those Pokemon as a present. Because Pokemon create changes chances to meet more wonderful people in Pokemon. Chase, this is a present for you. And we get the Master Ball. Poke Master Ball is a Pokeball that catches things without fail. It, no matter what Pokemon you throw it at, no matter how weak it is, it always catches it. Ma yeah, he, she's just saying that. She says, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong. See you later. So now we can... Uh, I'm just going to show this off real quick. Now we're going to head north to... There, and what is this? Hi, trainer, do you have a minute? I just heard this on the cross transceiver. There's a big storm on Route 7, and the storm seems to be different from a natural phenomenon. So strange. That's a hint to go check out Route 7, which, which we will be doing next part instead of actually going to the Victory Road. I know we're holding it off, but this is very cool and important, and we're going to do it if we want to complete this game. So if you like this part, subscribe to me here on YouTube, CJGee, of course. And if you want more constant updates, go to my Twitter at twitter.com slash cjgeelps, L-P-S. And you can follow me there for more constant updates, which I update every day. I think. Somewhere around there. And, yeah. In the next part, we go to Route 7 and investigate that unnatural phenomenon, Storm, and see what the hell's going on on Route 7. So I'll see you guys then.
Eight badges. Almost there, guys. 